Hey, how's it going? So I got the bike all packed up. I finally got permits to do this camping trip that I've been wanting to do for a while now. For two nights of camping in the Valley of Fire. Actually on June 1st, they start shutting down some of the trails just because it's too hot to go hiking. Today is May 30th, so that's only in two days from now. And the end of May, the weather here can be a little bit hit or miss. I mean, sometimes it's just absolutely beautiful. Other times it's blazing hot. Today, the weather right now it is 100 degrees. And then tomorrow, it's saying 104 degrees. I have so much water, probably like three quarters of the weight that I'm carrying is just water, Gatorade, electrolytes, sunscreen, hat, long sleeve SPF 50 shirt to hopefully block out the UV rays. So everything's packed up and let me just show you the map to show you where we'll be going. Okay, and so I have this map here and right here is where I am right now in Las Vegas. Uh, down here you have Arizona. This goes off to California over this way, and then the Valley of Fire is right up here, up in the northeast direction, before you get to uh, Utah, Arizona border up there. I'm not gonna be going up the highway, up the interstate. I'm gonna be taking this road here through the Frenchman Mountains, and then up along just above uh, Lake Mead, and then all the way up to this area here. Now I have two X's on the map. You can see I have an X marks the spot in the Valley of Fire where we'll be getting to. There's also this X right here at Redstone. And so this is a little area that on the way today, I'll probably stop there. There's one hiking trail that just kind of goes around the lot. It's a pretty short hike, but I've never done it before. So I'd like to do that hike today as well. So let's hit the road. <laughs> Valley of Fire, 47 miles. And we're coming right now to the entrance of the Lake Mead National Recreation Area. Okay, so once again, if you watch my last video, we're coming up to this T in the road. Have to go either right or left. If you went right, it would take you down to Lake Las Vegas and then to the Hoover Dam. Boulder City, uh, but we are going left, so left will take us up to the Valley of Fire. So I haven't done a whole lot of modifications on my bike lately. Uh, I did do a couple small things. I did put a helmet lock on the bike on the side there. So that way when I'm doing trips like this, especially going hiking, I could park the motorcycle and leave my helmet, not carry my helmet with me. Uh, I also did get another lock. Uh, it goes on the grip and your brake lever. And so it keeps someone from being able to, to, to move your bike. And it also acts as a helmet lock as well. You can attach your helmet to it. The only other little minor modification I made to the bike is I put one of those uh, British flag oil guard protectors on the bike. But I did do some modifications to it. Uh, first of all, it came in brushed aluminum and I want everything on my bike to be polished. So I did polish the guard so that way it will match the rest of the bike. And then the one thing I didn't like about it is the guard is meant to protect your oil cooler, your oil radiator from rocks and pebbles, things like that. And this thing just has big holes in it. So it didn't seem like it would really protect very well, that it was more of a novelty piece rather than a protective piece. So what I did is I bought some wire mesh. I cut it to the size, spray painted it black, and put it on the inside of the guard so that way it would kind of provide a little bit of extra protection so it's functional as well as pretty. But the ride here through Lake Mead is just such a beautiful ride. I, I love it every time I come through here. The roads are just perfect for motorcycle. There's usually hardly any traffic. They're just wide open, smooth, fast, winding roads. This area over here is where we're gonna be stopping, this area over here to my right. It's a little picnic area, rest area, surrounded by these beautiful red rocks. And supposedly there's a short little hiking trail.
Redstone picnic area. And looks like I am the only person here. Sometimes you come up here on the weekends and there'll just be motorcycles and cars lined up, people hanging out. But not today, and it could be due to the fact crap due to the fact that it is a hundred degrees right now literally so this is the lock that I was talking about it goes over the throttle then you grabs your brake and then locks it like that and there is a little slot there with a cable an extra cable where you can detach your helmet and lock your helmet right into it but I already do put my helmet on this little cheap little side lock there but this is the Royal Enfield Continental GT 650 all loaded up with the bags I got these outdoor covered picnic areas Tables, benches, even grills you can use. All nestled in these rocks. A pretty cool view. One thing that amazes me about the desert is just the colors all the different colors of rock, the bright red sand contrasted with green shrubs growing up out of it. I grew up in the Northeast in New England, which is a completely different type of climate. And moving out West, you just never expected it to be as beautiful or as colorful as it is. Just look at these rocks, just worn away through the millennia. Got these little archways. Got these other rocks here. Look like skulls. <laughs> just a beautiful area. This is actually the area, I'm not sure if you may have seen a few weeks ago or a month or two ago. It was in the news, I know it made national news, not sure if international, where those jackasses came and they were pushing over the rock formations here. A little girl screams as two men push chunks of red stone off the edge of a formation at the federally protected site. It takes millions of years for these rock formations to form and then you get a few idiots out there that are destroying all that work of nature. It's pretty appalling. It's kind of disgusting. At Redstone Dunes, one of the most popular hiking trails at Lake Mead. I don't know if they ever caught the guys, but if they had it, take a look, see if you recognize them. Some people, I just don't get it. Something that's been there for thousands of years that we can protect and enjoy, and they go knocking it over for a second's worth of some sort of childish thrill. I'm back. Did you miss me?
So we're just leaving. Whoa. Oh, that came up my quick. Sun was in my eyes. So we just left the Lake Mead area. Took a left and Valley of Fire is one mile. Run, little guy, run, little guy. Run, little guy, run, little guy. Station is closed. All right, so according to the notice on the board there, half the trails are already closed due to the heat. So I didn't think they were closing for another two days because that's what it said on the website. Check out this view. Oh. But from what it was saying on that notice, they closed almost two weeks ago on May 15th. Or just over two weeks ago, May 15th. Today's the 30th. So that kind of puts a snag in my plans of all the hikes I was going to do. Well, either way, I'm just gonna get over to the campground first, set up the tent. I need something to drink. I am thirsty. Here we are, the Arch Rock Campground. Site 3, where's site number 18? There's 17. So this must be us right here. 18. site let me show you what we got going on so I got the mr. clean parked right up there and I got my tent set up right here pretty nice right in the middle of all these rocks gives you a little bit of privacy there's some other campsites over here that one over there is empty people are in their RV over in that one over there but every campsite you get this little covered area with a picnic table, a grill, and a fire pit. And if you come right up here, 
can get a little bit of view. Sun just about this end. So now I'm just gonna stick around the campsite for tonight since the sun's about to set and make myself some dinner. I've got tonight, maybe this coconut chickpea tomato curry with some coconut jasmine rice. Or I'm gonna do the basmati rice with Indian coconut curry. And I couldn't find any naan, but I did get some pita bread there. So that should go pretty well with it. And then I got a I got an orange. Thank you. 